Hey everybody, Ben for the Bono Podcast, and we've got an unbox and review for you today. It is a few weeks late because of life and things, but we are going to be having a look. We're going to be opening and building the Forge World Boa Constrictor. So Boa is one of the new star players that are featured in the Amazon Spike. Oh, I've got resin all over the desk. Um, and he is a snake man. So this was a really cool star player to see revealed because every time Games Workshop open up their design space and bring in a different species or a different classification of player, we saw the Zoat land, we've seen the Snake Man land, we've seen ghosts now introduced. We've also seen beer boars as well, which was less awesome. But not bad so let's give them three and a half out of four it's really cool to see them explore the different designs place now we you know everyone wants a snake man team now we're not quite going to get that but what we do have is boa so forge world you can pick him up for 23 pounds at the moment and then he will come with this lovely bit of card now if you've watched our glottal stop unboxing um i would have made it very evident that you have to be careful taking the card out of the like the paper because it does come with this, which is great. You've got the instructions on the back, you've got his rules, and you've got a little bit of background, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, you have to be careful of the clamshell pack and don't do what I did and just kind of reach in and try and grab the paper out like the heart from the Indiana Jones movie because it might work and it also might not. Anyway, blah, blower constrictor comes in eight pieces. Okay, let's have a look at the model. So this is Forge World Resin. So when it comes to resin models, you are going to need to wash them first because of the release mechanism they use. So it will be greasy in places because they've got mold release on them. Uh, so best thing to do is give them a lukewarm, not hot. Hot will me melt the resin and that will melt your soul because you have just paid £23 for a puddle. Don't recommend that. But lukewarm water with a bit of dish soap in there. Give it a bit of a wash, a bit of a rinse, a bit of a soak. And let it dry. So I've already done that with this. And we can see you've got a whole bunch of pieces here. Now, the great thing about the most recent Games Workshop Forge World models. Where do we start? Where do we start? Let's start with the bottom of the tail. Is their casting is incredibly on point at the moment. And hopefully you can see that okay in the video. All of these crisp edges for the, the cast... Uh, we've got each of these individual scales and they are all beautifully, beautifully defined. Now, this model has got some little pieces on it. It's not the worst, okay? We've got no individual thumbs or anything, which is good. It's been a while since we've had something quite so silly. But actually, we can see that all of the details, all the edges of the feathers and the kind of carvings. In fact, the scales on the fingers as well have come out really, really nicely. So the casting quality is really good. And as we look at the multiple pieces of his head and face, you can see that actually the casting, you've got all the detail you want on there. So that is one positive. Now we're going to be a little bit more realistic. What is with all this rest? <laughs> we see this on every Games Workshop Forge World piece. There is more resin in these jersey barriers than there is in the actual model himself, which is fine because I know it's a part of the, the kind of how they do it. I feel like they could do it a little bit better maybe and save us all money, but hey, that's up to them. They're making some pretty great models at the moment, so I'm not going to be too critical. What I will be quite uh, pointed about is that the size of the flash pieces here will affect the model when it comes to uh, putting it together. So especially this bit here where you've got the neck. Now I'm assuming that that is going to need to glue on to this piece here. I think that's pretty reasonable, which means when you take this off, you are going to have to make sure that it is filed down as much as possible. So we, normally I do this bit off camera. But I think it's really important because when I built Glottal Stop, it was kind of uh, an important thing. You have to be really careful and cut this away very, very, very flatly. Now, because you see what we've got here is this raised piece. Now you're going to need to make sure that you scrape as gently as you can to get that as flat as possible. So that when you go to stick the neck on that mounting piece there, that it goes flat and you don't end up with a wibbly wobbly gap there. So the bigger the kind of, um, I can't remember what they're called, bigger the vents, the bigger the flash, the more chance that you're going to have to kind of spend a bit of time with a knife or a file to make it flat enough so that you can glue it. Bear that in mind. However, 
super impressed with the casting on this and there's eight pieces so i think it's about time we took those eight pieces and made them one expensive model Okay, and there we have it. Do you know what? He wasn't that difficult to build. I was a bit worried about some of the individual pieces being a bit too finicky, but it actually wasn't bad. I was even really worried about the headdress, but it came on fine. So actually, he's not the gappiest of models, but if you are... Mm, yeah, that, see that body join there? I probably should have spent a bit more time filing down the points to get to it. Now, the fact is, it is a 32mm model that comes in eight pieces. So if you want this to look pristine, you're going to have to do some work filing and probably filling some gaps with some green stuff, potentially. Uh, I personally am not too fussed, and I don't think that once primed, he's it's really going to be all that noticeable so it's really not that bad it's a really cool model and i know that i am just dreaming here but i agree with those people who are calling for a snake man team it would be really interesting and really different that gap in the body is sticking out quite heavily but it'll be fine. Right. So anyway, we can see the model. It's come together nicely. It wasn't actually that difficult to build. The pieces that you have to put on are actually either big enough for you to not worry about or have really good connecting points, which is unusual. But I'll take it. Now, for a size comparison, um, let's take this zombie that I have here. So he is a strength three player. Movement six, strength three. So actually, he's he's quite a lot taller than a strength three model. So that's quite cool. I think I do. There was there were rumors that this guy was supposed to be strength four originally and that it got changed uh, at the last minute along with some of the other Amazonian stuff. Do you know what? He is of strength four kind of size. I think I agree with it. And if you put him up to uh, up to uh, up together with a, a golem there from the necromantic team, you can see that size wise, he is similar in size to the golem and I like it. He's a cool model with some cool rules, and I think he's going to be pretty effective. So actually, him being of a big enough size oh dear, that you're going to be able to paint him up nicely, and he's going to stand out quite well. I actually really like it. The size is good. The fact he sits within the 30mm base, 32mm base that it comes with, it is quite good too. Um, yeah, I know, it's one of those ones with a slotter, and he doesn't have a slotter to mount him on, but that is a minor thing. And let's face it, by now we're pretty much used to that as Blood Bowl players. So, I can tell you, the casting's great. It's not too difficult to put together. You do have to put in time washing, cleaning, and prepping the model, but hey, it's a model kit, that's what we do. And the size is really good. He's going to be a little bit bigger than your Amazons, which is probably where you want him to be. He's halfway between a zombie and a golem, which is basically strength 3.5, and I think it works really well. And there you have it, Boa Constrictor. Um, plus side, lovely model, great sculpt, great character. Downside, forge world price, and the fact he's eight pieces are def definitely detracts from it. But uh, I think I'll probably say the same thing I say for all the forge world stuff. <sighs> you don't need him. There are alternatives but it's a nice treat for yourself. It's going to be 25, 26, 27 pounds, which you've paid postage. So it's definitely not the kind of thing that you absolutely need to rush out and buy right now, especially because you can't get it third party. It's straight from Forgewood only. There are some good alternatives out there. Fanath, Grebo, uh, both of which we featured on the channel now already, are some really lovely models. But as far as the Forge World stuff goes, this is another cracking Star Player miniature. If you've got a birthday coming up, if you want a treat, or if you just need to complete your collection, Rick, I'm talking about you here, then actually you're not going to be disappointed. It's done really well. The model's a good size. It's one of the good ones. So really, really, really like this model from Forge World. That's good stuff. Let me know what you think of Boa and his rules in the comments below. And we'll be back again soon with more Bubble content. Happy blocking. Thanks very much for watching. We really appreciate your support. If you want to support the channel even further, please like and subscribe. It really does help us out. Or come join us on YouTube members or in Patreon, where you can get exclusive access to some content, some loot, early access to basically everything we do, as well as regular competitions.
or you can pick up some Bonehead Podcast loot either on our website at boneheadpodcast.com. We've got the Dungeon Bowl things, we've got tokens and stuff like that, or on our Spreadshirt site as well. Everything you do just helps us make more content and hopefully do it of better quality. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Happy blocking.